ITV Racing today, folks. Three things. Two laughable, one serious. We'll go laughable first. It took to race two before your man, little Luke Harvey, again mentioned the horse getting revved up behind the stalls. I thought, if he says revved up again, me tell him he's going through. I don't care what you say. I'm sick to death of it. But he got beaten again by his mate in the old head. Old head Chamberlain, yeah. As they're doing the uh, opening segments of the show, you seen Bruff Scott there walking through the crowd at one of the walks when he says, oh... Bruffalo's in the house today, and I thought, Bruffalo, Bruffalo. Has he not got a decent producer that will say to him, stop saying that, it's stupid. He's a man now on in his 90s. He doesn't want to be called Bruffalo. His name is Bruff Scott. You sound absolutely stupid. But no, I'll tell you what I thought was a bit strange. The Stewart's Inquiry race two. I mean, when they went into the Inquiry, the one that actually went past the post first was favourite to win. I think it was 8-13 to 13 against 13-8. to 8. I believe they said when they came out of the inquiry, the one that passed the post first hardened somewhat, and I thought, I don't do Betfair, I wish I did. I thought, no chance, based on what I've just heard in there, Crowley's going to get this, absolutely no problem, no doubt whatsoever. And they wasn't saying that when they were discussing it, uh, Chamberlain and the other two, Weaver and uh, Murtar, they weren't going down that route. You know, they were doing it still 50-50, it's up in the air, and I thought, how can they think that? Based on what Crowley said, and what a poor defence uh, the Doyle up looks. I think he put a poor defence up. You know, the Doyle should have said at the end, when he said, if you had anything I'll say, he said, look, again, go from sideways on. Go from sideways on. When I move over, I'm a length and a half in front. That's if Murtal was right. If Say, if I'm a length and a half in front, I've not stopped him to ride. He's decided to pull round me because I'm going to be taking that ground. But I'm a length and a half in front. Now, if Murtal was right, that's all he needed to say. And I don't think they would have reversed. But... When they walked out, I thought, Crowley's definitely got this, 100%. I thought it was a bad performance by the Doyle, maybe pretty bad on the horse, but even more so in the stewards' room. What did you think? Who do you think could keep the race? But more importantly, after that stewards' inquiry, if you watched it, who did you think was going to be called the winner? I was certain it was Crowley every day of the week, I was, honestly. Anyway, I'll leave it with that. I'm out now, I'm doing a bit of work. It'll be later, and I'll do a scores on the doors later. There's millions to go through. I don't know how they've done horse-wise. I've not seen any results, but I'll be doing it later.